Hi, I've been dreaming about my next travel adventure. Where would you love to go if you could travel anywhere in the world? Hello, that's a tough choice, but I've always wanted to explore the rich cultural heritage of India. The temples, cuisine, and diverse landscapes are all so intriguing. India is indeed a fascinating destination. The diversity in culture and geography makes it a must-visit place. What type of traveler are you? Do you prefer relaxation or adventure? I'm definitely an adventure seeker. I love exploring new places, hiking in nature reserves, and trying out thrilling activities like ziplining or scuba diving. Adventurous travel can be so invigorating. Have you had any memorable adventures you'd like to share? One of the most memorable experiences was when I went trekking in the Peruvian Andes and reached Machu Picchu at sunrise. The view was breathtaking. Wow, that sounds absolutely incredible. Machu Picchu is on my bucket list as well. It's a testament to human ingenuity. Hi, there. I'm always on the lookout for new hobbies. Do you have any unique interests or hobbies that you enjoy? Hello, I'm quite passionate about astrophotography. Capturing the beauty of the night sky in distant galaxies is a mesmerizing experience. Astrophotography sounds fascinating. Do you have any favorite celestial objects you like to photograph? I love capturing the Milky Way and deep sky objects like the Orion Nebula. It's amazing how photography can reveal the wonders of the universe. It's incredible how astrophotography lets us appreciate the cosmos in a whole new way. Are there any challenges you face in this hobby? The biggest challenge is finding dark, remote locations with minimal light pollution. It often involves traveling to remote areas. I can imagine that finding the perfect location is crucial for capturing the night sky's beauty. Your hobby is both inspiring and educational. Hi, I'm always intrigued by the latest tech gadgets. Is there a recent tech innovation that has caught your attention? Hello, I've been keeping an eye on developments in renewable energy tech. Solar panels and wind turbines have become so efficient and accessible. Renewable energy is crucial for a sustainable future. It's impressive how technology is making clean energy more practical. Are you considering any eco-friendly tech for your home? Yes, I've been looking into installing solar panels on my roof. It's a great way to reduce my carbon footprint and save on energy bills in the long run. Solar panels are an excellent choice for environmentally conscious homeowners. It's a smart investment for both the planet and your finances. Hi, I'm always on the lookout for delicious recipes to try. Do you have a favorite dish that you enjoy cooking or eating? Hello, I love preparing and indulging in sushi. The combination of fresh ingredients and the art of sushi making is incredibly satisfying. Sushi is an art form indeed. Have you ever tried making sushi at home? Or do you usually enjoy it at restaurants? I've dabbled in making sushi rolls at home, but it's a skill that requires practice. Sushi nights with friends are a fun way to learn and enjoy. Sushi nights with friends sound like a fantastic idea. It adds a social and creative element to the dining experience. Hi, I recently finished reading a fascinating book. Have you read any good books lately? Hello, I'm always on the lookout for a good read. What book did you just finish, and would you recommend it? I read The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. It's a story about following one's dreams and the journey of self-discovery. I'd highly recommend it. The Alchemist is a classic. I've heard great things about it. I'm currently reading a mystery novel. I love trying to solve the puzzles along with the characters. Mystery novels can be so engaging. Do you have a favorite mystery author or series? Yes. I'm a fan of Agatha Christie's books. Her detective. Hercule Poirot is brilliant at solving cases. Have you read any of her mysteries? Agatha Christie is a legend in the mystery genre. I've read a few of her books and enjoyed them. Murder on the Orient Express was particularly intriguing. Ah, uh, that's a classic one. The solution to the mystery is so cleverly crafted. If you like mysteries, you should also try Arthur Conan Doyle's Sherlock Holmes series. Sherlock Holmes is another iconic detective. I've read a couple of his stories and found them captivating. Reading mysteries is like being a detective yourself. Exactly. It's a fun and engaging way to exercise your mind. 
Do you have any other favorite genres or authors? I enjoy historical fiction too. It's like time traveling through books. Ken Follett's The Pillars of the Earth is one of my favorites. Historical fiction can be a fascinating genre. The Pillars of the Earth is a massive tome, but the storytelling is worth it. It's great that we share a love for reading. Hi there. Have you been on any exciting trips or adventures recently? Hello. Unfortunately, I haven't traveled recently, but I love hearing about others' adventures. Where have you been? I just came back from a backpacking trip through Southeast Asia. It was incredible. I explored ancient temples, tried delicious street food, and met wonderful people. Southeast Asia is known for its rich culture and stunning landscapes. Any particular place that left a lasting impression? Angkor Wat in Cambodia was a highlight. The temple complex was awe-inspiring, and watching the sunrise there was a surreal experience. Angkor Wat is a marvel of architecture and history. I've always wanted to visit it. Did you have any interesting encounters or local experiences during your trip? Yes, I had the chance to stay with a local family in a rural village in Thailand. It was an eye-opening experience, learning about their way of life and traditions. Staying with locals can provide a unique perspective on a destination. It sounds like a meaningful cultural exchange. Do you have any future travel plans in mind? I'm considering a road trip through the scenic landscapes of New Zealand next, exploring the mountains, fjords, and beaches there is on my bucket list. New Zealand is known for its stunning natural beauty. The landscapes in the Lord of the Rings movies were filmed there. It would be a fantastic adventure. Absolutely. I can't wait to embark on that adventure. Exploring new places and cultures is a true passion of mine. It's wonderful that you have a passion for travel and adventure. It enriches our lives with new experiences and perspectives. Hi, I've been trying to pick up a new hobby. Do you have any interesting hobbies you'd recommend? Hello. Hobbies are a great way to unwind and learn new skills. How about trying your hand at painting or drawing? It's a relaxing and creative outlet. Painting sounds like a great idea. I've always been fascinated by art. Do you have any tips for beginners? For beginners, I'd suggest starting with simple subjects and experimenting with different techniques. Don't worry too much about being perfect. It's all about self-expression. That's great advice. I'll give it a try. What hobbies do you enjoy in your free time? I'm a nature enthusiast, so I enjoy hiking and birdwatching. Being outdoors and connecting with nature is incredibly refreshing. Nature activities sound wonderful. Have you had any memorable encounters with wildlife while birdwatching? Yes. I once saw a rare species of owl during a birdwatching excursion. It was a thrilling moment. And it's those rare sightings that make birdwatching so exciting. That must have been an incredible sight. Nature has its way of surprising U.S. It's inspiring to hear about your hobbies and interests. Thank you. Hobbies add richness to our lives and provide a way to unwind and connect with our passions. Enjoy your painting journey. Hello, are you a tech enthusiast like me? I'm always curious about the latest gadgets and tech trends. Hi, there. Yes, I'm quite interested in technology too. It's amazing how rapidly things are evolving. Have you seen any intriguing tech developments lately? Absolutely. The rise of artificial intelligence, AI, is incredibly fascinating. AI-powered virtual assistants like Siri and Alexa have become so integrated into our daily lives. AI has indeed made a significant impact. It's changing the way we interact with our devices and access information. Are there any specific tech gadgets you're excited about? I'm really looking forward to the advancements in self-driving cars. The idea of autonomous vehicles on our roads is both exciting and a bit futuristic. Self-driving cars have the potential to revolutionize transportation. It's an area where technology can enhance safety and convenience. Are you a fan of wearable tech? Like smartwatches? Yes, I wear a smartwatch daily. It's a convenient way to stay connected, monitor my health, and receive notifications on the go. Do you use any wearable tech? I haven't tried a smartwatch yet, but I'm considering it. They seem like a handy accessory. Speaking of tech, have you explored the world of virtual reality, VR, or augmented reality, AR? 
VR and AR are incredibly exciting. I've tried some VR gaming, and it's a whole new level of immersion. The possibilities for education and entertainment are endless. VR and AR do open up a world of possibilities. It's amazing how they can transform industries like gaming, education, and even healthcare. Hi, I've been experimenting with cooking lately. Cooking is such a creative outlet. Do you enjoy cooking? Hello. Yes, I love cooking too. Trying out new recipes and creating delicious meals is so satisfying. What's your favorite type of cuisine to cook? I enjoy making Italian dishes. The combination of fresh ingredients and simple flavors is a winning formula. How about you? Any favorite cuisines or dishes? I'm a fan of Mexican cuisine. Tacos, guacamole, and salsa are some of my go-to favorites. It's all about bold and spicy flavors. Do you have any cooking tips or tricks to share? For Italian dishes, using fresh herbs and high-quality olive oil can make a significant difference in flavor. And mastering the art of making a good pasta sauce is a game-changer. Fresh ingredients are key to great cooking. I'll keep that in mind for my Mexican dishes. Have you ever tried your hand at baking? Yes, I enjoy baking too. There's something therapeutic about kneading dough and creating sweet treats. Homemade cookies are a favorite. Baking can be so rewarding, especially when you get to enjoy the delicious results. I'm a fan of pies and tarts myself. Do you have a signature dish you're known for? I make a mean lasagna that my friends and family always request for special occasions. It's a labor of love with layers of pasta, sauce, and cheesy goodness. Lasagna is a crowd pleaser for sure. I'm sure your friends and family appreciate your culinary talents. It's been lovely discussing food and cooking with you. Likewise, food brings people together, and it's always a pleasure to share our culinary experiences and tips. May your kitchen be filled with delicious aromas. Hi, there. Staying healthy and fit is essential to me. How do you prioritize your health and fitness? Hello, I completely agree. I make sure to eat a balanced diet and stay active. Regular exercise and mindful eating are key for me. What's your fitness routine like? I'm into strength training and cardio workouts at the gym. It helps me build muscle, stay toned, and maintain overall health. Do you have any specific fitness goals? My main goal is to maintain a healthy weight and keep my energy levels up. I also enjoy yoga for flexibility and relaxation. Have you ever tried yoga? Yoga is fantastic for flexibility and stress relief. I've taken a few classes, and it's a great way to unwind. Do you have any dietary preferences or restrictions? I follow a vegetarian diet. It aligns with my fitness goals and personal values. Plant-based meals are both nutritious and eco-friendly. How about you? I'm not strictly vegetarian, but I do try to incorporate a lot of plant-based foods into my diet. Fruits vegetables, and whole grains are staples for me. Eating a variety of fruits and veggies is a smart choice for overall health. It's been great chatting about health and fitness with you. Likewise, staying healthy is a lifelong journey, and it's always inspiring to exchange ideas and tips. Here's to a fit and vibrant future. Hello, taking care of our health is so important. What are some things you do to stay healthy? Hi, there. I agree. Health is vital. I try to eat balanced meals and stay active. How about you? I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. They're good for us, right? Absolutely. Fruits and veggies are packed with vitamins and minerals that keep us healthy. Do you have any favorite fruits or vegetables? I love apples and carrots. They're tasty and easy to snack on. Apples and carrots are great choices. They're convenient and nutritious. Do you drink enough water during the day? I try to, but sometimes I forget. How much water should we drink? It's recommended to drink about 8 cups, 64 ounces, of water a day, but it varies for each person. Staying hydrated is essential for our bodies to work properly. That's good to know. What about exercise? Do you exercise regularly? Yes, I do. I enjoy going for walks and bike rides. It's a fun way to stay active. Do you exercise? I like playing soccer with my friends. It's a lot of running around and having fun. 
Playing sports is a fantastic way to get exercise. It keeps you fit and helps you socialize. How do you feel after exercising? I feel more energetic, and it's easier to concentrate on my schoolwork. That's great. Exercise can boost your mood and improve your focus. What about snacks? Do you eat snacks between meals? Yes, I do. Sometimes I have chips or cookies. Is that okay? It's okay to have treats sometimes, but it's also good to choose healthier snacks like yogurt or nuts. They're better for your body. I'll remember that. Thanks for the advice. Do you eat a lot of fast food? I try not to eat fast food too often. It's not very healthy because it's often high in calories and fat. Home cooked meals are usually better. I like homemade food too, especially when my mom cooks. Her meals are delicious. Homemade meals can be tasty and nutritious. It's nice that your mom cooks for you. Is there any food you don't like? I'm not a fan of broccoli. I don't like its taste. That's okay. We all have foods we don't like. It's important to eat a variety of foods to get all the nutrients we need. Right. Variety is key. Thanks for chatting about health and diet with me. You're welcome. It's important to take care of our health. If you have more questions, feel free to ask anytime. Remember, it's always essential to consult with a healthcare professional or nutritionist for personalized advice on health and diet. Hi, how's your day going? I've been thinking a lot about my health and diet lately. Hello, I'm doing well. Thank you. It's great that you're paying attention to your health. What's on your mind? Well, I've noticed that I've been feeling a bit tired and sluggish lately. I think it might have something to do with my diet. Fatigue can often be related to what we eat. Have you made any recent changes to your diet that might be affecting your energy levels? Not really, but I have been eating a lot of processed foods and sugary snacks lately. I think my diet might be lacking in nutrients. Ah. Processed foods and sugary snacks can be low in nutrients and high in empty calories. It's a common issue. Have you considered incorporating more whole foods into your diet? That's a good idea. I know whole foods are healthier, but they seem a bit expensive and time consuming to prepare. I understand the concerns. While it's true that some whole foods can be pricier, there are budget friendly options like beans, lentils, and frozen vegetables. And there are plenty of simple and quick recipes out there. That's reassuring to hear. I do want to make healthier choices. What are some specific foods I should consider adding to my diet? Well, fruits and vegetables are a must. They provide essential vitamins and minerals. Whole grains like brown rice, quinoa, and oats are great too. And don't forget about lean protein sources like chicken, fish, or tofu. Thanks for the suggestions. What about snacks? I often reach for chips or candy when I'm hungry between meals. Instead of chips and candy, you can opt for healthier snacks like nuts, Greek yogurt, or fresh fruit. They can satisfy your cravings and provide better nutrition. I'll give those healthier snacks a try. I've also heard that drinking more water is essential for good health. Is that true? Absolutely. Staying hydrated is crucial for overall health. Water helps with digestion, circulation, and even mood. It's a simple but often overlooked aspect of a healthy lifestyle. I'll start drinking more water too. It all sounds doable when you break it down like this. Do you have any tips for staying on track with a healthier diet? One tip is to plan your meals and snacks in advance. This can help you make better choices and avoid impulse eating. Also, don't be too hard on yourself. Small. Gradual changes are more sustainable than drastic diet overhauls. That's reassuring advice. I often get discouraged if I don't see immediate results. It's important to remember that good health is a long term commitment. Small changes over time can lead to significant improvements. And don't forget to listen to your body, it knows what it needs. Thanks for the encouragement and practical advice. I'm feeling more motivated to make healthier choices for my diet and overall health. You're very welcome. I'm here to support you on your journey to better health. If you ever have questions or need more tips, feel free to reach out. That means a lot. Let's both strive for healthier, happier lives. Absolutely. 
Here's to our health and well-being. Take care and stay positive. Hi there. Are you a foodie like me? I absolutely love trying new dishes and experimenting in the kitchen. Hello. Yes. I'm a food enthusiast too. Cooking and eating delicious meals are some of life's greatest pleasures. I couldn't agree more. Do you have a favorite type of cuisine? Italian cuisine is at the top of my list. The pasta, pizzas, and gelato are simply irresistible. Italian food is a classic favorite for many. I love Asian cuisine, especially Thai and Japanese. The flavors are so vibrant. Thai and Japanese cuisines are indeed full of bold and unique flavors. Have you ever tried cooking dishes from these cuisines at home? I have. I enjoy making sushi rolls and pad thai. It's a fun way to bring those flavors into my own kitchen. How about you? Absolutely. I've tried my hand at making homemade pasta and risotto. There's something satisfying about creating a dish from scratch. Homemade pasta is a game changer. Freshly made pasta has a completely different texture and taste. Do you have any favorite cooking techniques or tools? I'm a fan of grilling. The smoky flavor it imparts to food is fantastic. I also rely on my trusty chef's knife for chopping and slicing. Grilling adds a wonderful depth of flavor. A good chef's knife is essential in the kitchen. Have you ever taken any cooking classes? Yes, I took a cooking class while traveling in Thailand. I learned how to make authentic green curry and tom yum soup. It was a fantastic experience. That sounds amazing. Learning to cook local dishes in the country of origin must have been memorable. Do you have any food-related travel stories? One of my favorite travel experiences was exploring the street food markets in Tokyo. The variety and quality of food there were mind-blowing. Tokyo street food scene is legendary. I'd love to visit one day. Have you ever had any culinary mishaps while cooking? Oh, definitely. I once tried to make a complex dessert, and it turned out nothing like the recipe. But I learned from it and laughed it off. Cooking mishaps happen to the best of us. It's all part of the learning process. Is there a particular dish or cuisine you'd like to master in the future? I've always wanted to become proficient in making French pastries, éclairs, and croissants. In particular, seem like a delightful challenge. French pastries are indeed an art. Best of luck with your pastry-making journey. Well, it's been wonderful discussing our shared love for food and cooking. Likewise, food has a way of bringing people together, even in conversation. Let's keep exploring new flavors and dishes. Absolutely. May your kitchen always be filled with delicious aromas and your taste buds delighted. Happy cooking! You too. Enjoy your culinary adventures and savor every bite. Hi there. Are you into health and fitness? Staying active and taking care of my health is essential to me. Hello. Yes, I'm definitely into health and fitness too. It's important to lead a balanced and active lifestyle. Absolutely. What kind of fitness activities do you enjoy? I'm a fan of outdoor activities like hiking and cycling. I find it refreshing to be in nature while staying active. Outdoor activities are great for both physical and mental well-being. I enjoy going to the gym for weightlifting and cardio workouts. Gym workouts are excellent for building strength and endurance. Do you follow a specific workout routine? Yes. I have a structured routine that includes strength training, cardio, and flexibility exercises. It helps me stay on track. Having a routine can be motivating. I also practice yoga to improve my flexibility and reduce stress. Yoga is fantastic for both physical and mental flexibility. Have you tried any other fitness classes or sports? I've taken some kickboxing classes in the past. It's a fantastic way to release pent-up energy and learn self-defense. Kickboxing is a high-energy workout. It's great for cardiovascular fitness and building strength. How about your diet? Do you pay attention to what you eat? Yes, I try to maintain a balanced diet with plenty of fruits, vegetables, and lean protein. 
It complements my active lifestyle. That's a smart approach. Nutrition plays a significant role in achieving fitness goals. Do you have any dietary restrictions or preferences? I follow a vegetarian diet, so I focus on plant based sources of protein like beans and tofu. It's worked well for me. Vegetarian diets can be very healthy when well balanced. Have you ever considered trying any specific diets or meal plans? I've thought about trying intermittent fasting. Some people have had success with it, and I'm curious about its effects. Intermittent fasting can be effective for weight management and improving metabolic health. It's important to find a plan that suits your lifestyle. Have you ever participated in a fitness challenge or event? Yes, I've participated in a few charity runs. It's a fun way to stay motivated and support a good cause. Charity runs are a fantastic way to combine fitness and philanthropy. It's great to see people come together for a purpose. Do you have any fitness goals or aspirations for the future? I'd like to complete a half marathon one day. It's a challenging goal, but I'm gradually working toward it. Running a half marathon is a commendable goal. Consistent training and determination will get you there. Well, it's been great talking about health and fitness with you. Likewise, staying healthy and fit is a lifelong journey, and it's nice to share experiences and tips with someone who values it too. Absolutely. Let's continue to stay active and prioritize our well being. Wishing you strength, endurance, and good health in your fitness journey. You too. May you achieve all your fitness goals and enjoy a vibrant, healthy life. Hey there, do you enjoy watching movies and TV shows? It's one of my favorite pastimes. Hi, absolutely. I love movies and TV shows. They're a great way to relax and be entertained. Wonderful. What's one of your all time favorite movies? The Shawshank Redemption is at the top of my list. The story and characters are so compelling. The Shawshank Redemption is a classic. It's known for its powerful storytelling. Do you have a favorite genre of movies? I enjoy a wide range of genres, but I have a soft spot for science fiction. The imaginative worlds and futuristic concepts are fascinating. Science fiction offers endless possibilities. Have you seen any recent sci fi movies or TV shows that you'd recommend? Blade Runner 2049 is a visually stunning sci fi film with an intriguing storyline. I'd highly recommend it. Blade Runner 2049 was indeed visually breathtaking. Speaking of TV shows, do you have a favorite series? Game of Thrones was one of my all time favorite TV series. The intricate plot and complex characters kept me hooked. Game of Thrones had a massive following. It was known for its political intrigue and unexpected twists. Are there any other TV shows you've enjoyed recently? I've been watching Stranger Things. It's a nostalgic blend of supernatural and 80s pop culture. Stranger Things has been a hit for its nostalgia and intriguing mysteries. What about classic TV shows? Do you have any favorites from the past? Friends is a classic sitcom that I can watch over and over again. The humor and camaraderie among the characters are timeless. Friends is a beloved classic indeed. It's known for its humor and relatable moments. Do you ever have movie or TV show marathons? Absolutely. I occasionally have Harry Potter movie marathons. Watching them all in one go is an immersive experience. Harry Potter marathons are a magical journey. Is there a specific movie or TV show that has left a lasting impact on you? The Lord of the Rings film trilogy has had a profound impact on me. The epic storytelling and the world of Middle-earth are unforgettable. The Lord of the Rings is an epic masterpiece. It's known for its incredible world-building. Well, it's been fantastic discussing movies and TV shows with you. Likewise. Movies and TV shows have a way of connecting people and sparking great conversations. Let's continue to explore the cinematic and small screen worlds together. Absolutely. Here's to many more movie nights and TV show binges. Enjoy your next film or series. You too. May you discover many more cinematic treasures and enjoy some memorable TV moments. Hi there. 
Are you passionate about education and learning? I find it fascinating how much there is to discover in the world. Hello. Yes. I'm definitely interested in education and learning. It's a lifelong journey that keeps our minds active and engaged. Absolutely. Do you have a particular field of study or subject area that you're passionate about? I'm quite interested in history, especially ancient civilizations. Learning about their cultures and contributions is like traveling back in time. History is a rich and captivating subject. It helps us understand the foundations of our world. Are there any historical eras or civilizations you find particularly intriguing? The ancient Egyptians and their achievements in architecture and culture have always fascinated me. The pyramids and hieroglyphics are incredible. Ancient Egypt is indeed a captivating civilization. The pyramids are a marvel of engineering. I enjoy reading books about history. Do you have any favorite educational books? I'm a fan of nonfiction books that explore scientific topics. Carl Sagan's Cosmos and Stephen Hawking's A Brief History of Time are two of my favorites. Those are excellent choices. Books by Sagan and Hawking are renowned for making complex topics accessible. Have you ever considered taking online courses or attending workshops to further your education? Yes. I've taken a few online courses in the past. They're a convenient way to explore new subjects and learn from experts. Online courses have made education more accessible than ever. I've found them valuable too. Is there a skill or language you'd like to learn in the future? I've always wanted to learn a new language, perhaps Spanish or Mandarin. Being multilingual opens up so many opportunities. Learning a new language is a valuable skill. It can enhance your cultural understanding and communication abilities. Do you have any tips for staying motivated in the pursuit of knowledge? Setting clear goals and breaking them into smaller, manageable tasks helps me stay motivated. Also, discussing topics with like minded individuals can be inspiring. Those are great strategies. Collaborative learning and goal setting can be powerful motivators. Well, it's been fantastic discussing education and learning with you. Likewise, learning is a lifelong adventure, and it's always enriching to exchange ideas and perspectives. Let's continue to explore the world of knowledge together. Absolutely. Here's to many more opportunities for growth and discovery. Enjoy your next educational journey. You too. May you find endless inspiration and keep expanding your horizons through learning and education. Hi, how are your relationships and friendships going? Building and maintaining connections with others is so important. Hello, I agree. Relationships are the foundation of our lives. I'm fortunate to have some wonderful friends and close relationships with family. That's great to hear. What do you value most in your friendships? Trust and honesty are at the top of my list. Being able to share our thoughts and feelings openly is essential for a strong friendship. Trust and honesty are indeed the pillars of any meaningful relationship. Do you have any long-lasting friendships that you cherish? Yes. I have a friend I've known since childhood. Our bond has only grown stronger over the years, and we've been through a lot together. Childhood friends often share a unique and enduring connection. It's beautiful that you've maintained that friendship. How about romantic relationships? Do you have any advice on nurturing them? Communication is key in romantic relationships. Being able to express your needs and listen to your partner is vital for a healthy and loving connection. Communication is crucial. Indeed, effective communication can resolve conflicts and strengthen bonds. Do you have any relationship goals or aspirations for the future? I hope to continue nurturing the relationships I have and be open to forming new ones. Building connections with diverse individuals is enriching. That's a great outlook. Expanding your social circle can bring new perspectives and experiences. Have you ever had to navigate a challenging or strained relationship? Yes, I've had my share of challenges. Patience, empathy, and a willingness to work through difficulties have helped in those situations. Those qualities are essential when dealing with tough times in relationships. 
It's commendable that you're willing to put in the effort to overcome challenges. Is there a particular friend or family member who has had a significant impact on your life? My grandmother has had a profound influence on me. She taught me valuable life lessons and the importance of kindness and resilience. Grandparents often have a wealth of wisdom to share. It's beautiful that your grandmother played such a pivotal role in your life. Well, it's been fantastic discussing relationships and friendships with you. Likewise, relationships shape who we are, and it's always enlightening to reflect on them and share our thoughts. Let's continue to value and nurture our connections. Absolutely. Here's to many more meaningful conversations and cherished relationships. Take care and enjoy your time with loved ones. You too. May your relationships continue to bring joy and fulfillment to your life. Have a wonderful day. Hey there. What are your future plans and goals? I've been thinking a lot about my own lately. Hello. Future plans and goals are exciting to talk about. I believe they give us direction and purpose. What's on your mind? Well, one of my main goals is to advance in my career. I've been working on some new skills and aiming for a promotion at work. That's fantastic. Career growth is important, and setting your sights on a promotion shows ambition and dedication. What steps are you taking to achieve it? I've been taking additional courses and seeking out mentorship opportunities within the company. It's been a lot of hard work, but I'm motivated to make it happen. Hard work and determination are the keys to success. I'm sure you'll achieve your career goals. Besides work, do you have any other aspirations? Yes, I'm also thinking about my personal life. I'd love to start a family in the near future and find a balance between my career and family life. Family is a beautiful goal. Balancing work and family can be a challenge, but it's so rewarding. Do you have any specific plans in mind for family life? I'm considering taking some parental leave when the time comes, and my partner and I are already discussing how to share responsibilities. It's wonderful that you're planning ahead and thinking about how to create a supportive family environment. Do you have any other long-term goals? Yes. I'm also thinking about financial stability. I want to save for retirement and possibly invest in a property down the line. Financial planning is a smart move. It provides peace of mind and helps you work toward a comfortable future. Have you started taking steps to achieve your financial goals? I've been working on a budget and exploring investment options. It's a learning process, but I'm committed to securing my financial future. Learning about finances is an important skill. It's great that you're taking it seriously. Are there any personal development goals you're pursuing? Absolutely. I want to continue learning and growing as an individual. I'm considering taking up a new hobby, like learning a musical instrument. Learning a musical instrument can be a rewarding journey. It's a great way to challenge yourself and tap into your creative side. Is there anything specific you'd like to learn to play? I've always been interested in playing the guitar. I love the idea of being able to create music and express myself through it. Learning to play the guitar can be a fulfilling experience. It's a versatile instrument, and there are plenty of resources available for beginners. Well, it's been wonderful discussing your future plans and goals. Likewise. Talking about future aspirations is inspiring and motivating. What about you? Do you have any exciting plans or goals on the horizon? I have a few goals in mind, including traveling to new places, furthering my education, and giving back to the community. Life is an ongoing adventure. Those sound like amazing goals. I wish you all the success in achieving them. Here's to a bright and fulfilling future for both of us. Thank you. Cheers to our future endeavors and making our dreams a reality. Take care, and may all your goals be within reach. Routine today. Good morning. My morning was pretty typical. I woke up, brushed my teeth, and took a quick shower. Sounds like a good start. Did you have breakfast? Yes. I had cereal with milk and a banana. It's my usual breakfast. That sounds healthy. I had toast and coffee. After breakfast, 
What did you do? I checked my emails for work and made a to-do list for the day. Then, I got dressed for work. I see. I did some yoga and stretched a bit to wake up my body. After that, I dressed and got ready for the day. Yoga sounds like a great way to start the day. So, did you go to work today? Yes, I did. I commuted by bus. It was a bit crowded, but I had my earphones with me, so I listened to music. Commuting can be tiring sometimes. I drove to work, and the traffic was surprisingly light today. That's lucky. When you got to work, what did you do? I started my workday by checking my schedule and attending a few meetings. Then, I tackled some tasks on my to-do list. Meetings can be a bit overwhelming, but they're necessary. At work, I had a presentation to prepare, so I spent most of my morning on that. Preparing presentations can be time-consuming. Did you take a lunch break? Yes, I did. I had a sandwich and some salad at the cafeteria. It was nice to take a break and chat with co-workers. I usually bring my lunch to work. Today, I had leftover pasta from last night. Leftovers can be delicious. After lunch, what did you do at work? I had some more meetings in the afternoon and worked on a report. It was a busy day. I understand. I finished my presentation in the afternoon and practiced it a few times. Practicing is essential for a successful presentation. What did you do after work? I headed straight home. I like to unwind by reading a book or watching a bit of TV. Relaxing with a book or TV is a great way to de-stress. I usually go to the gym after work to stay active. That's a healthy habit. I should exercise more. Did you have any evening plans? Not really. I cooked dinner, which was grilled chicken with vegetables, and then I spent some time catching up with a friend on the phone. Grilled chicken sounds tasty. I had some homemade spaghetti for dinner. After that, I did some household chores. Household chores can be a bit tedious, but they need to be done. How do you usually unwind in the evening? I like to take a warm bath and read a book before going to bed. It helps me relax. That sounds like a soothing way to end the day. I usually watch a bit of TV or listen to calming music before bedtime. It's been nice talking about our daily routines. I find comfort in having a routine. Same here. Routines can make life more manageable. Well, it's getting late. Time for bed. Indeed, it is. Good night. Have a restful sleep. Hi there. Have you been on any exciting trips lately? Hey, yes. I actually just got back from a fantastic adventure in Thailand. It was incredible. Thailand sounds amazing. What did you do there? Well, I started in Bangkok, explored the bustling city, and visited some beautiful temples like Wat Pho and the Grand Palace. That sounds incredible. Did you try any street food? Oh, definitely. Thai street food is the best. I had pad thai, som tum, and mango sticky rice at a local market. So delicious. Yum. Did you venture outside of Bangkok? Yes, I did. I went up north to Chiang Mai. It's a charming city with lots of cultural experiences. I even did a Thai cooking class. Cooking classes are such a fun way to learn about a culture. Did you do any outdoor activities? Absolutely. I went jungle trekking and even got to bathe and feed elephants at an ethical sanctuary. It was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Wow, that's incredible. Did you also visit any beaches? Yes, I spent a few days on the islands in the south. The beaches in Koh Phi Phi were stunning, and I went snorkeling in crystal clear waters. Sounds like a tropical paradise. Did you face any challenges during your trip? Well, the language barrier was a bit tricky at times, but people were so friendly and willing to help. I managed just fine. It's always heartwarming when locals are welcoming. Any travel tips for those planning to visit Thailand? Sure. Respect local customs. Try the street food and explore beyond the tourist areas. Also, 
Don't forget to bargain at the markets. Great advice. Traveling can be so enriching. Where do you plan to go next? I'm thinking of exploring Europe next, maybe Italy or Spain. There's so much history and culture to discover there. Europe is incredible. I'd recommend Rome for its history and Barcelona for its vibrant culture. Have you been to Europe before? No, it'll be my first time. I'm super excited to explore it. How about you? Any travel plans? Not at the moment, but hearing about your adventures makes me want to plan a trip soon. Traveling is always a good idea. It broadens your horizons and creates lifelong memories. Absolutely. Thanks for sharing your travel stories. It's been inspiring. You're welcome. Anytime you want to talk travel, I'm here. Safe travels on your next adventure. Hi, there. Do you enjoy reading? What are some of your favorite books? Hello, yes, I love reading. One of my all time favorites is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. The themes in that book are so powerful. To Kill a Mockingbird is a classic. I love how it addresses important social issues. Have you read anything else by Harper Lee? Yes, I also read Go Set a Watchman. It was interesting to see how the characters had evolved over the years. That's intriguing. I haven't read that one yet. What about other authors you enjoy? I'm a big fan of J.K. Rowling. The Harry Potter series is fantastic. The way she created that magical world is just brilliant. Ah, Harry Potter is a beloved series for many. Do you have a favorite book from the series? It's hard to choose, but I think Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is my favorite. I love the mysteries in that one. Excellent choice. The Harry Potter books have a special place in my heart, too. Besides Rowling, do you have any other favorite authors? Absolutely. I enjoy reading Agatha Christie's mysteries. Murder on the Orient Express is one of her best, in my opinion. Agatha Christie's mysteries are classic whodunits. They keep you guessing until the end. Have you read any contemporary authors you'd recommend? Yes. I recently read The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. It's a beautifully written fantasy novel with a unique setting. The Night Circus is often praised for its enchanting prose. I'll have to add that to my reading list. Do you have a preferred genre of books? I'm quite eclectic, but I do enjoy historical fiction. It's like time traveling through books. How about you? I love a good historical novel too. Lately, I've been into science fiction, exploring futuristic worlds and technology. Science fiction can be mind bending. Any particular science fiction book or author you'd recommend? Definitely. I'd recommend Dune by Frank Herbert. It's a classic in the genre, with intricate world building and politics. Dune has been on my list for a while. I'll make sure to read it soon. Thanks for the recommendation. You're welcome. It's been great discussing books with you. They say books are a window to other worlds, and it's nice to explore them through conversations, too. I agree. Books can take you on incredible journeys, and talking about them is just as enjoyable. Let's continue our literary adventures in the future. Absolutely. Happy reading, and take care. You too. Enjoy your next book. Hey, there. What are some of your favorite hobbies and interests? Hi, I have a few hobbies I really enjoy. One of my favorites is painting. I find it so therapeutic and relaxing. Painting is a wonderful way to express creativity. Do you have a preferred style or subject matter? I mostly paint landscapes and nature scenes. I love capturing the beauty of the outdoors on canvas. That sounds lovely. Nature can be a great source of inspiration. Besides painting, do you have any other hobbies? Yes, I'm an avid hiker. Exploring new trails and experiencing the tranquility of the wilderness is something I can't get enough of. Hiking is a fantastic way to connect with nature. Have you hiked in any particularly breathtaking places? Oh, definitely. I recently hiked in the Swiss Alps and the views were absolutely breathtaking. 
It felt like I was in a postcard. Switzerland is known for its stunning landscapes. I bet that was an unforgettable experience. Are there any hobbies you've been wanting to try? I've always wanted to try my hand at pottery. The idea of shaping clay into beautiful objects fascinates me. Pottery is a unique and creative hobby. You should definitely give it a try. On a different note, I enjoy cooking as a hobby. Cooking is wonderful. Do you have a signature dish or cuisine you enjoy preparing the most? I love experimenting with different cuisines, but I'm particularly fond of Italian dishes. Homemade pasta is a favorite. Homemade pasta sounds delicious. Italian cuisine has such a rich variety of flavors. Have you tried making your own pasta from scratch? Yes, I have. It's a bit time consuming, but the taste is worth it. Do you have any specific goals or projects related to your hobbies? I'm planning to create a series of paintings inspired by my hiking adventures. Each painting will capture a different trail I've explored. That's a fantastic project. Your art will tell the story of your outdoor adventures. Are there any hiking destinations on your bucket list? I'd love to hike the Inca Trail to Machu Picchu in Peru someday. The history and scenery there are incredible. Machu Picchu is on my list too. It's a dream for many travelers and hikers. Well, it's been great learning about your hobbies and interests. Likewise, hobbies add so much richness to life, don't they? Absolutely. They keep us engaged and passionate about the things we love. Let's keep exploring our interests and sharing our experiences. Agreed. Here's to more painting, hiking, and culinary adventures in the future. Cheers to that. Take care and enjoy your next hike and painting session. You too. Happy cooking and have a great day. Hi. Are you a tech enthusiast? I love gadgets and new technology. Hello. Yes, I'm definitely into tech. It's fascinating how fast technology is evolving these days. It is. Is there a particular tech gadget or device that you can't live without? My smartphone, for sure. It's not just a phone. It's like a mini computer in my pocket. I use it for everything. Smartphones are incredibly versatile. What do you use your phone for the most? Communication, of course but also for staying organized with apps like calendars and to-do lists, and I love taking photos. Photography with smartphones has come a long way. Do you have any favorite apps for photo editing? Yes, I use a few photo editing apps. They help enhance the pictures I take, making them look even better. That's cool. I'm a fan of fitness trackers and smartwatches. They help me stay active and monitor my health. Smart watches are great for that. Do you have a specific brand or model you prefer? I currently use a Fitbit. It tracks my steps, heart rate, and sleep patterns. It's been a game changer for my health goals. Fitbit is known for its fitness tracking features. It's nice to see technology promoting a healthy lifestyle. Are there any upcoming tech trends you're excited about? I'm really excited about the advancements in virtual reality, VR, and augmented reality, AR. The possibilities for gaming and education are incredible. VR and AR are indeed promising technologies. They have the potential to change various industries. Speaking of gaming, do you play video games? I do. I'm a casual gamer. I enjoy both console and mobile games. How about you? I used to play video games a lot, but lately, I've been more into smart home technology. I've automated several aspects of my home. Smart homes are becoming increasingly popular. What kind of automation have you set up? I have smart lights, a thermostat, and even a voice-activated assistant that controls various devices. It's convenient and energy efficient. That sounds impressive. Smart home technology can make life more convenient. Is there a tech gadget on your wish list? I'd love to get my hands on a drone. Aerial photography and exploration seem like incredible experiences. Drones can capture some breathtaking shots. It's a great choice if you enjoy photography. Well, 
It's been fantastic chatting about tech and gadgets with you. Likewise, the world of technology is always evolving, and it's exciting to stay updated and share our interests. Absolutely. Let's continue to explore the tech world together. Have a great day, and may your gadgets always be charged. You too. Enjoy your tech adventures. Hi there. How have your relationships and friendships been lately? Hello. My relationships have been good overall. I value my friendships a lot. They bring joy and support to my life. How about you? I agree. Friendships are so important. Lately, I've been thinking about how to strengthen the bonds I have with my friends. Any tips on nurturing friendships? One important aspect is communication. Make an effort to stay in touch. Even if it's just a quick message or call, let your friends know you're there for them. That makes sense. Sometimes, life gets busy, and I forget to reach out. What about resolving conflicts in friendships? Any advice on that? Conflicts can happen in any relationship. It's essential to address issues openly and honestly but in a kind and understanding way. Listening to your friend's perspective is crucial. You're right. Communication is key. It can be challenging, though, when emotions run high. How do you stay patient and empathetic during conflicts? It can be tough, but I try to remind myself of the value of the friendship. I also take a step back when needed to cool off and gain perspective. Patience and empathy go a long way. Wise advice. It's essential to keep the bigger picture in mind. Do you have a particularly memorable or special friendship you'd like to share? I have a friend I've known since childhood. We've been through many ups and downs together, and our bond has only grown stronger. It's a friendship I deeply cherish. Childhood friends often have a unique connection. It's beautiful that you've maintained that friendship. What about romantic relationships? Any insights on making them thrive? In romantic relationships, trust, respect, and open communication are crucial. It's essential to support each other's goals and make time for quality moments together. Those are excellent principles for a healthy relationship. I've heard that active listening is a valuable skill. How do you practice it in your relationships? Active listening means giving your full attention, not just hearing but understanding what the other person is saying. It involves asking questions and showing empathy to truly connect. Active listening sounds like a skill worth mastering. I'll keep that in mind. Lastly, do you have any future aspirations regarding relationships or friendships? Person B, I hope to continue nurturing my existing friendships and forming new ones. Building connections with diverse individuals enriches our lives. That's a wonderful outlook. Friendships and relationships are an essential part of our lives. Thank you for sharing your thoughts and wisdom on this topic. You're welcome. It's been a pleasure discussing relationships and friendships with you. Here's to many more meaningful connections in the future. Good morning. How was your morning routine today? Good morning. My morning was pretty typical. I woke up, brushed my teeth, and took a quick shower. Sounds like a good start. Did you have breakfast? Yes. I had cereal with milk and a banana. It's my usual breakfast. That sounds healthy. I had toast and coffee. After breakfast, what did you do? I checked my emails for work and made a to-do list for the day. Then, I got dressed for work. I see. I did some yoga and stretched a bit to wake up my body. After that, I dressed and got ready for the day. Yoga sounds like a great way to start the day. So, did you go to work today? Yes, I did. I commuted by bus. It was a bit crowded, but I had my earphones with me, so I listened to music. Commuting can be tiring sometimes. I drove to work, and the traffic was surprisingly light today. That's lucky. When you got to work, what did you do? I started my workday by checking my schedule and attending a few meetings. Then, I tackled some tasks on my to-do list. Meetings can be a bit overwhelming, but they're necessary. At work, I had a presentation to prepare, so I spent most of my morning on that. Preparing presentations can be time-consuming. Did you take a lunch break? Yes. I did. 
I had a sandwich and some salad at the cafeteria. It was nice to take a break and chat with co-workers. I usually bring my lunch to work. Today, I had leftover pasta from last night. Leftovers can be delicious. After lunch, what did you do at work? I had some more meetings in the afternoon and worked on a report. It was a busy day. I understand. I finished my presentation in the afternoon and practiced it a few times. Practicing is essential for a successful presentation. What did you do after work? I headed straight home. I like to unwind by reading a book or watching a bit of TV. Relaxing with a book or TV is a great way to de-stress. I usually go to the gym after work to stay active. That's a healthy habit. I should exercise more. Did you have any evening plans? Not really. I cooked dinner, which was grilled chicken with vegetables, and then I spent some time catching up with a friend on the phone. Grilled chicken sounds tasty. I had some homemade spaghetti for dinner. After that, I did some household chores. Household chores can be a bit tedious, but they need to be done. How do you usually unwind in the evening? I like to take a warm bath and read a book before going to bed. It helps me relax. That sounds like a soothing way to end the day. I usually watch a bit of TV or listen to calming music before bedtime. It's been nice talking about our daily routines. I find comfort in having a routine. Same here. Routines can make life more manageable. Well, it's getting late. Time for bed. Indeed, it is. Good night. Have a restful sleep. Hi there. Have you been on any exciting trips lately? Hey, yes. I actually just got back from a fantastic adventure in Thailand. It was incredible. Thailand sounds amazing. What did you do there? Well, I started in Bangkok, explored the bustling city, and visited some beautiful temples like Wat Pho and the Grand Palace. That sounds incredible. Did you try any street food? Oh, definitely. Thai street food is the best. I had pad Thai, som tum, and mango sticky rice at a local market. So delicious. Yum. Did you venture outside of Bangkok? Yes, I did. I went up north to Chiang Mai. It's a charming city with lots of cultural experiences. I even did a Thai cooking class. Cooking classes are such a fun way to learn about a culture. Did you do any outdoor activities? Absolutely. I went jungle trekking and even got to bathe and feed elephants at an ethical sanctuary. It was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Wow, that's incredible. Did you also visit any beaches? Yes, I spent a few days on the islands in the south. The beaches in Koh Phi Phi were stunning, and I went snorkeling in crystal clear waters. Sounds like a tropical paradise. Did you face any challenges during your trip? Well, the language barrier was a bit tricky at times. But people were so friendly and willing to help. I managed just fine. It's always heartwarming when locals are welcoming. Any travel tips for those planning to visit Thailand? Sure. Respect local customs. Try the street food and explore beyond the tourist areas. Also, don't forget to bargain at the markets. Great advice. Traveling can be so enriching. Where do you plan to go next? I'm thinking of exploring Europe next, maybe Italy or Spain. There's so much history and culture to discover there. Europe is incredible. I'd recommend Rome for its history and Barcelona for its vibrant culture. Have you been to Europe before? No, it'll be my first time. I'm super excited to explore it. How about you? Any travel plans? Not at the moment. But hearing about your adventures makes me want to plan a trip soon. Traveling is always a good idea. It broadens your horizons and creates lifelong memories. Absolutely. Thanks for sharing your travel stories. It's been inspiring. You're welcome. Anytime you want to talk travel, I'm here. Safe travels on your next adventure. Hi there. Do you enjoy reading? What are some of your favorite books? Hello. Yes, I love reading. 
One of my all-time favorites is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. The themes in that book are so powerful. To Kill a Mockingbird is a classic. I love how it addresses important social issues. Have you read anything else by Harper Lee? Yes, I also read Gossetta Watchman. It was interesting to see how the characters had evolved over the years. That's intriguing. I haven't read that one yet. What about other authors you enjoy? I'm a big fan of J.K. Rowling. The Harry Potter series is fantastic. The way she created that magical world is just brilliant. Ah, uh, Harry Potter is a beloved series for many. Do you have a favorite book from the series? It's hard to choose, but I think Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is my favorite. I love the mysteries in that one. Excellent choice. The Harry Potter books have a special place in my heart too. Besides Rowling, do you have any other favorite authors? Absolutely. I enjoy reading Agatha Christie's mysteries. Murder on the Orient Express is one of her best, in my opinion. Agatha Christie's mysteries are classic whodunits. They keep you guessing until the end. Have you read any contemporary authors you'd recommend? Yes. I recently read The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. It's a beautifully written fantasy novel with a unique setting. The Night Circus is often praised for its enchanting prose. I'll have to add that to my reading list. Do you have a preferred genre of books? I'm quite eclectic, but I do enjoy historical fiction. It's like time traveling through books. How about you? I love a good historical novel too. Lately, I've been into science fiction, exploring futuristic worlds and technology. Science fiction can be mind-bending. Any particular science fiction book or author you'd recommend? Definitely. I'd recommend Dune by Frank Herbert. It's a classic in the genre, with intricate world-building and politics. Dune has been on my list for a while. I'll make sure to read it soon. Thanks for the recommendation. You're welcome. It's been great discussing books with you. They say books are a window to other worlds, and it's nice to explore them through conversations too. I agree. Books can take you on incredible journeys, and talking about them is just as enjoyable. Let's continue our literary adventures in the future. Absolutely. Happy reading, and take care. You too. Enjoy your next book. Hey, there. What are some of your favorite hobbies and interests? Hi, I have a few hobbies I really enjoy. One of my favorites is painting. I find it so therapeutic and relaxing. Painting is a wonderful way to express creativity. Do you have a preferred style or subject matter? I mostly paint landscapes and nature scenes. I love capturing the beauty of the outdoors on canvas. That sounds lovely. Nature can be a great source of inspiration. Besides painting, do you have any other hobbies? Yes, I'm an avid hiker. Exploring new trails and experiencing the tranquility of the wilderness is something I can't get enough of. Hiking is a fantastic way to connect with nature. Have you hiked in any particularly breathtaking places? Oh, definitely. I recently hiked in the Swiss Alps and the views were absolutely breathtaking. It felt like I was in a postcard. Switzerland is known for its stunning landscapes. I bet that was an unforgettable experience. Are there any hobbies you've been wanting to try? I've always wanted to try my hand at pottery. The idea of shaping clay into beautiful objects fascinates me. Pottery is a unique and creative hobby. You should definitely give it a try. On a different note. I enjoy cooking as a hobby. Cooking is wonderful. Do you have a signature dish or cuisine you enjoy preparing the most? I love experimenting with different cuisines, but I'm particularly fond of Italian dishes. Homemade pasta is a favorite. Homemade pasta sounds delicious. Italian cuisine has such a rich variety of flavors. Have you tried making your own pasta from scratch? Yes, I have. It's a bit time-consuming, but the taste is worth it. Do you have any specific goals or projects related to your hobbies? 
I am planning to create a series of paintings inspired by my hiking adventures. Each painting will capture a different trail I've explored. That's a fantastic project. Your art will tell the story of your outdoor adventures. Are there any hiking destinations on your bucket list? I'd love to hike the Inca Trail to Machu Picchu in Peru someday. The history and scenery there are incredible. Machu Picchu is on my list too. It's a dream for many travelers and hikers. Well, it's been great learning about your hobbies and interests. Likewise, hobbies add so much richness to life, don't they? Absolutely. They keep us engaged and passionate about the things we love. Let's keep exploring our interests and sharing our experiences. Agreed. Here's to more painting, hiking, and culinary adventures in the future. Cheers to that. Take care and enjoy your next hike and painting session. You too. Happy cooking and have a great day. Hi. Are you a tech enthusiast? I love gadgets and new technology. Hello. Yes, I'm definitely into tech. It's fascinating how fast technology is evolving these days. It is. Is there a particular tech gadget or device that you can't live without? My smartphone, for sure. It's not just a phone. It's like a mini computer in my pocket. I use it for everything. Smartphones are incredibly versatile. What do you use your phone for the most? Communication, of course but also for staying organized with apps like calendars and to-do lists, and I love taking photos. Photography with smartphones has come a long way. Do you have any favorite apps for photo editing? Yes, I use a few photo editing apps. They help enhance the pictures I take, making them look even better. That's cool. I'm a fan of fitness trackers and smart watches. They help me stay active and monitor my health. Smartwatches are great for that. Do you have a specific brand or model you prefer? I currently use a Fitbit. It tracks my steps, heart rate, and sleep patterns. It's been a game changer for my health goals. Fitbit is known for its fitness tracking features. It's nice to see technology promoting a healthy lifestyle. Are there any upcoming tech trends you're excited about? I'm really excited about the advancements in virtual reality, VR, and augmented reality, AR. The possibilities for gaming and education are incredible. VR and AR are indeed promising technologies. They have the potential to change various industries. Speaking of gaming, do you play video games? I do. I'm a casual gamer. I enjoy both console and mobile games. How about you? I used to play video games a lot, but lately, I've been more into smart home technology. I've automated several aspects of my home. Smart homes are becoming increasingly popular. What kind of automation have you set up? I have smart lights, a thermostat, and even a voice-activated assistant that controls various devices. It's convenient and energy efficient. That sounds impressive. Smart home technology can make life more convenient. Is there a tech gadget on your wish list? I'd love to get my hands on a drone. Aerial photography and exploration seem like incredible experiences. Drones can capture some breathtaking shots. It's a great choice if you enjoy photography. Well, it's been fantastic chatting about tech and gadgets with you. Likewise, the world of technology is always evolving and it's exciting to stay updated and share our interests. Absolutely. Let's continue to explore the tech world together. Have a great day, and may your gadgets always be charged. You too. Enjoy your tech adventures. Hey there. I've always been fascinated by travel and adventure. Have you been on any exciting trips recently? Hello. I share your passion for travel. Unfortunately. I haven't traveled recently, but I love hearing about others' adventures. Where have you been? I recently went on a solo backpacking trip through Southeast Asia. It was an incredible experience. I explored ancient temples, savored delicious street food, and met fascinating people. Southeast Asia is known for its rich culture and stunning landscapes. 
Any particular place that left a lasting impression on you? Angkor Wat in Cambodia was a highlight. The temple complex was awe-inspiring, and watching the sunrise there was a surreal experience. Angkor Wat is a marvel of architecture and history. I've always wanted to visit it. Did you have any interesting encounters or local experiences during your trip? Yes, I had the chance to stay with a local family in a rural village in Thailand. It was an eye-opening experience, learning about their way of life and traditions. Staying with locals can provide a unique and authentic perspective on a destination. It sounds like a meaningful cultural exchange. Do you have any future travel plans in mind? I'm considering a road trip through the scenic landscapes of New Zealand next. Exploring the mountains, fjords, and beaches there is on my bucket list. New Zealand is known for its stunning natural beauty. The landscapes in the Lord of the Rings movies were filmed there. It would be a fantastic adventure. Absolutely. I can't wait to embark on that adventure. Exploring new places and cultures is a true passion of mine. It's wonderful that you have a passion for travel and adventure. It enriches our lives with new experiences and perspectives. What about you? Do you have any exciting travel stories to share? Well, one of my most memorable adventures was hiking to the summit of Machu Picchu in Peru. The view from the top at sunrise was breathtaking. It felt like being on top of the world. Machu Picchu is on my travel bucket list too. It's an iconic destination known for its historical significance and stunning vistas. Did you encounter any challenges during that hike? Yes, the hike was quite challenging, especially the high altitude. But the sense of accomplishment when I reached the summit made it all worthwhile. It's a reminder that adventure often comes with its own set of challenges. That's a valuable insight. Adventure often pushes us out of our comfort zones and teaches us resilience. Do you have any travel tips for those planning their own adventures? One tip is to be open to spontaneity. Some of the best travel experiences happen when you go with the flow and embrace unexpected opportunities. Embracing spontaneity can lead to incredible discoveries and adventures off the beaten path. Well, it's been fantastic discussing travel and adventure with you. Likewise, traveling is a source of inspiration and personal growth. Let's continue to explore and share our adventures with the world. Absolutely. Here's to many more exciting journeys and enriching experiences. Take care, and may your travels be filled with wonder and discovery. You too. May your adventures bring you joy and unforgettable memories. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. It's always a pleasure to connect with fellow adventurers. As we're on the topic of travel, do you have any dream destinations you've always wanted to visit? Absolutely. There are so many places on my travel wish list. One dream destination is the Galapagos Islands. The unique wildlife and pristine landscapes there have always fascinated me. The Galapagos Islands are a remarkable destination for nature enthusiasts. The opportunity to see diverse species in their natural habitat is truly a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Have you looked into any specific activities or wildlife encounters you'd like to experience there? I'd love to go snorkeling or scuba diving to get up close with the marine life. Swimming alongside sea turtles, rays, and playful sea lions would be incredible. And of course, observing the giant tortoises is a must. Snorkeling and diving in the Galapagos are known for their breathtaking underwater scenery. It's like entering another world, meeting the giant tortoises, which can live for over a century, is a truly humbling experience. It's awe-inspiring how some places on Earth remain so pristine and full of biodiversity. Speaking of which, have you ever traveled to a remote or off-the-grid destination that left a lasting impression on you? Yes, I had the opportunity to visit Iceland, particularly the remote Westfords region, the rugged landscapes, dramatic cliffs, and natural hot springs were unlike anything I'd seen before. It felt like a journey to the edge of the world. 
Iceland is often described as a land of fire and ice, with its volcanoes and glaciers. Exploring such remote and untouched areas must have been an adventure in itself. Did you engage in any outdoor activities while there? Absolutely. I went hiking and camping in some remote areas, soaked in natural hot springs, and even took a boat tour to see puffins and seals. It was a perfect blend of adventure and natural beauty. That sounds absolutely amazing. Nature-based adventures are so invigorating. Do you have any travel goals for the future? Perhaps a destination that's been on your mind recently? Well, I've always been intrigued by the idea of trekking to the base camp of Mount Everest in Nepal. The Himalayas are awe-inspiring, and the journey to Everest Base Camp offers both physical challenges and cultural immersion. Trekking in the Himalayas is a dream for many adventurers. The breathtaking landscapes and rich cultural experiences along the way make it a life-changing journey. Do you have any specific preparations or training in mind for such a trek? Absolutely. Preparing for high-altitude trekking is crucial. Cardiovascular fitness, endurance, and acclimatization to higher elevations are all essential. Plus, investing in good quality gear and having a local guide for safety is key. Those are valuable insights for anyone considering a high-altitude trek. It's essential to be well-prepared for the challenges that come with such adventures. Well, it's been fantastic hearing about your travel aspirations and experiences. Likewise, sharing travel stories and dreams is a wonderful way to inspire each other. May your future adventures be filled with wonder and discovery. You too. May your journeys bring you joy, fulfillment, and a deeper connection to the world. Safe travels, and take care. Travel and adventure are amazing, but they often lead to some interesting culinary experiences. Have you ever tried a unique or exotic dish while traveling? Oh, absolutely. Trying new foods is one of the highlights of travel for me. I remember having an incredibly spicy street food dish in Thailand that left my taste buds tingling for hours. Thai street food is renowned for its bold flavors and spiciness. It's a culinary adventure in itself. Are you an adventurous eater, or do you tend to stick to familiar cuisines when traveling? I'm definitely an adventurous eater. I believe that food is a window into a culture. And trying local dishes is a great way to immerse yourself in the place you're visiting. How about you? Any memorable food experiences? I completely agree. One of my most memorable food experiences was trying sushi in Japan. The freshness and artistry in each bite were truly remarkable. Japan is famous for its sushi, and it's an art form in itself. The attention to detail and the balance of flavors are unparalleled. Have you ever tried your hand at making sushi at home? I have. Actually, I took a sushi making class once, and while my rolls didn't look as perfect as those made by a sushi chef, it was a fun and delicious experience. That sounds like a fantastic experience. Making sushi at home can be a fun way to recreate some of those travel memories. Speaking of which, do you have any other hobbies or interests that you enjoy pursuing? Besides travel, I love photography. Capturing the beauty of different places and cultures through my lens is a way to preserve memories and share the world's wonders with others. Photography is a wonderful hobby. It allows you to document your adventures and share the beauty you encounter with others. Have you ever taken any particularly striking photos during your travels? Yes, there's one photo I took at sunset on a beach in Greece that I'm particularly proud of. The colors in the sky and the reflection on the water were simply breathtaking. Sunset photos can be incredibly stunning. They capture a moment of tranquility and beauty. Do you have any tips for capturing the perfect sunset shot? Patience is key. Sometimes the most magical moments happen just as the sun is about to dip below the horizon. Also, experimenting with different angles and compositions can lead to unique and captivating shots. Those are excellent tips for aspiring photographers. 
It's all about capturing that perfect moment. Besides photography and travel, do you have any other hobbies or interests that you're passionate about? I'm also an avid reader. I love getting lost in the pages of a good book, whether it's fiction, history, or travel literature. It's a way to explore new worlds from the comfort of home. Reading is a wonderful way to broaden one's horizons and escape into different worlds. Do you have any favorite books or authors you'd recommend? I'm a fan of classics like To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee and The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. They offer timeless insights into human nature. Classic literature can indeed be thought-provoking and timeless. To Kill a Mockingbird is particularly impactful. Well, it's been delightful chatting with you about your interests and adventures. Likewise, it's always a pleasure to share passions and experiences, whether through travel, photography, or books. There's a world of wonder out there to explore. Absolutely. Here's to continued exploration and discovery in all our endeavors. May your future adventures be filled with joy and inspiration. You too. May your interests and hobbies continue to enrich your life and bring you fulfillment. Take care, and until next time.